Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review, and here I have the Marvel Legends uh, figure uh, Ironheart, and um, so let's start with the box cover here, so first we get the Marvel Legends logo on top here, uh, Ironheart uh, logo on the bottom here where it says Riri Williams, uh, and then here's the side art of Ironheart here, here's the back of the box here where it has Ironheart flying in the air, and if you guys want to pause and try to read that, you can. I know the background's bright, so you might not be able to quite read that well. And here we are building Ursa Major. You get Iron Man here. You get the Volta Guard, Stealth Stew, Iron Man, Dark Star, uh, Dark Star. And here we're doing uh, Iron Heart right now, Holographic Iron Man, and then um, Ultron. And then here's the other side with the same art from the other side. Here's the top with the Ironheart logo furnished on top. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI. But besides that, let's crack her open. Here is Ironheart out of the package here. So here, let's start with the accessories. So first we get Ursa Major's right leg here, uh, which we'll go over once we build them. And then you get two of these blast effects with that deep ocean blue uh, transparent plastic here. This is brand new. Uh, and it kind of gets a little more clear near the end here. So there's that. You get two of these for each hand. Uh, and then you get two of these smoke effects that go around your arm when you're doing the blast effects if you want to. Uh, so it's nice and twirly, kind of looks like clouds. So you're getting that nice dark um, gray here to make it look like it's smoke here. And you get the like clouds look here. So you get two of these for each hand too. And you get two of these um, hands as well um these do not have a joint they just plug in and they're meant to repulse or make her fly but you get the blue like a really nice uh light ocean blue here on her uh forehand here gold fingers and then this nice red you get a little peg hole there and that is where you're supposed to plug in the blast effects for her just like that so yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like. And then, yeah, you're supposed to switch them out. You get two of these, one for each hand, and then one for each arm, obviously. And then here is Riri's head here. So you get that nice skin tone here. You get some rosy cheeks, red lipstick here. You get those nice black curls here around the head. It gets a little longer on the top. So it looks really good. I like this head sculpt a lot pretty accurate from the comics i think um so yeah i will definitely display her with this on and have her holding the helmet i think uh, once i move i'm gonna try to get like a massive um shelf where i will hold all the iron man um all the iron man figures and make a hall of armor and have her talking to like uh tony star it's darker sun make it look like she is but yeah this Head sculpt is awesome. And then here we have Ironheart in armor here. So this head sculpt looks awesome. I like it a lot. So it looks pretty much like the comics. Um, it's very different from the original Iron Man look. Uh, so yeah, it kind of looks like uh, it gets a little bit longer near the front here. Uh, I love the red that you used here for this. Um, and then you get some dark gray texture, I mean, like detailing around the neck here and then the collarbone area and the back and then around the shoulders looks awesome. You get this like hexagonal, uh, arc reactor here. You get some gold on the biceps, gold on the abs here, and then you get the dark gray, uh, in the inner thigh groining area and then also gold on that area too, inner thigh. Um, you get some gold on the toes, tip of the toes. Sculpt looks awesome. 
this is like a beautiful um figure i believe uh, and then you get that like blue uh triangle on top there it looks like it kind of got mist paint there uh you get the blue eyes red is awesome i love the red it's like cherry red uh, and you get some gold around the back side here of her butt um and then you get two fisted hands too uh you get that same blue forehand piece of the blue and then fingers gold so yeah i think this might be like one of my favorite iron man um armors um i love it a lot um so let's go over the articulation real quick so i think it's a double ball joint um head here so she can only look up that far she can look down that far she can move side to side a bit left and right um 360 rotation around there shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees there 360 rotation this time they haven't done this really for for a lot of female characters double joints and elbows look at that that's awesome and they're also pinless so that is extra awesome and then wrist can hinge down i think it's kind of stiff there we go that far they can hinge up that far 360 rotation there she has a ball joint at the i mean um pel i meant the top of the torso uh ball joint here so she can only crouch down that far backwards quite a bit she can go side to side here, 360 rotation around there. Legs can kick out that far, forward that far, backwards now a lot. Thigh cut here, that was a little rough there. Double jointed knees here, uh, which they're also pinless. There we go. They're pinless jointed here. Um, ankles can hinge down that far. Don't want to break the leg here now. And up that far, a nice ankle pivot. And that is uh, Ironheart for you. So this is her without the helmet on. And I, I think this is how I'm going to have her displayed, actually, in my shelf. So I think I, if this kind of, I think it is my favorite um, Iron Man uh, figures. I'm not quite sure. Um, it's either that or that. Mark 85 from Avengers Endgame. Not quite sure yet. And then we also got the Mark 3 coming out soon. Then we got the Happy 2 pack coming out soon. So we'll see by then. The Happy 2 pack is basically the one from the uh, 80th anniversary or 10 year anniversary uh, Iron Man Mark 7, I think. But still, this is one of my favorite Iron Man or Iron people. Um, costume, one of the Iron Man armors. Um, and I think this is like my second favorite character that took the mantle of Iron Man. Um, besides like uh, Pepper Potts, War Machine. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see her show coming out in Disney Plus soon. So that's another thing to look forward to. Um, but yeah, I recommend getting her when you can. Uh, she comes out in August first um, is the street date if i remember i paid a little extra money to get her um sooner from walmart uh which i think i got her from toy biz actually but i got through the walmart app um but yeah like i said um the only mess ups that i saw were, was this helmet piece here where that blue kind of bled through its little area where it's not supposed to uh, but besides that I don't really have any problems with it. It's like almost perfect, almost. I mean, they actually added the double jointed elbows. Uh, they're pinless jointed. So, I mean, I can't really complain about it. They improved a whole lot from the female figures. So I am happy, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's all I got for her. Um, I do have a link tree in my description where it has my PayPal now, has my TikToks, as my uh, Amazon wish list, as a link where you could go onto the Hot Toys website or Sideshow and use that to get like a little discount, I believe, or it, I don't remember. Um, it refers a friend. Uh, I don't rem remember how it works. I just put it in my link tree. Um, 
I also put my Twitch in there, my Instagram, um, and uh, I think a few other things I don't quite remember. Uh, but yeah, check that out and follow my Twitch to see me play video games and Resident Evil TikToks. I usually put my like quick uh, reviews on here on there. Um, and yeah, but besides that, love this figure. Highly recommend getting her. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. <laughs>